Alright guys, it's the Wheel Wonder here again today, and today guys, I'm going to be doing a review of yesterday's 3-0 draw with Bristol City. So let's get straight into it. First of all, it's a good point, I think. I think four, 4 points from the last two home games is decent enough, and it will definitely get you up and around the playoffs at least. So I think that's a good positive sign of it. And we also show character of being up twice, conceding goals and that, missing a good couple of chances and that getting a bit frustrated from some decisions, going 3-2 down and still coming back with a 3 or draw, especially with bringing some players off the bench who made a good impact. So those are some of the positives in that, guys, that can come from this game. So let's have a look at it. Some of the negatives are we do seem to suffer offset pieces. They are where we look weak. It was in pre-season, it was against Hull City, and it was today. So goals we seem to be conceding are mainly offset pieces, except for, some, except for the two against Cardiff. So... When we think about it, guys, we need to strengthen offset pieces defensively. Attackively, I think, I think we was just as threatening, especially in the second half, because we scored off two set pieces as well. So Bristol had the same problem as us. We managed to cancel them out at the end of the day. And I think it's a bit disappointing we didn't get the win, but we just need to move forward from this now and learn from our mistakes. Now, guys, the main talking points are, it was a good goal, first of all, the first goal. So that's the first talking point we uh Cavalero looked for the one of Alfred Endai, played it down to him, he kept it in, good cut back across the goal, very hard to deal with the pace and that on it. Vinegre came in at the back post, right foot, hit it straight across and Bonatini was left with a simple tap in. So that's his third goal in four Wolves home games and in about seven appearances in the league. So that's not too bad, three goals in seven appearances. I'll take that from our number one the, the main striker we've got any day of the week and if he carries on with that form he's definitely going to get about 15 goals this season now guys we also have to look at their first goal we tried to clear okay the problem was that i think we panicked instead of picking the marks up and you know try and get out that we was trying to block the ball and we th there was a lot of pressure from bristol at this time and they got an equalizer so fair play to bristol you know they put us under a lot of pressure at this spell we just struggled to deal with the ball in the box and that and it ping-ponging round and they got a goal. So John Woody couldn't do anything about it and it was one all. And we go in at half time and you think, you know, a bit disappointed it's one all when if we defended a little bit better we could have um, been in one nil up. But we came out second half, looked like we was going to continue with Bristol on the attack but then we started getting into the game, playing our football again. A few corners in, looked very threatening and then one of them paid off with Cavallero with a flick on... Cavallero taking the corner, flick on from Bonatini and Yotta tapping it in the back post and then we was up and running, you know, and we thought this is it, you know, 2-1, we just need to go get a third, kill Bristol off, which we didn't do. Bristol came back, had a penalty, you know, it's a definite penalty, his arms and that are up and they slotted it home 2-2. Uh, the big talking point at this point was Danny Bath, should he have had a penalty? 100% yes. I don't know how the ref didn't give it. Some people are saying it was more of an assault than a foul, you know? It's, from my perspective, Bath's waiting for the ball. He's, he's, run, he's ran towards the ball, you know? Everyone's got the right to go for it, but he's just completely took Bath out, and, you know, by barging him over and that. And to me, that is a clear penalty. I don't know how the ref hasn't given that one, and I couldn't understand Nuno's frustrations and that. I think the ref had an all right game, to be honest, but I was just like, that's got to be a penalty, you know? You look at free kicks that they give nowadays, that's 100% a Stonewall penalty for me. I can't believe it wasn't given, but you have to move on from that. And we did. But I just thought, we've hit the crossbar, we've had it cleared off the line, we've had all this going. Um, you know, at the time, you might have gone, oh, it's a bit misunfortunate for the penalty, but at the end of the day, it was one, and we didn't get one. And you just thought, our luck starting to come against us. And Bristol went down and got a third off a corner, which we should have defended better. But they went ahead, got a third, and they were three to up. And we, I thought, here we go. We're going to lose just because you could tell from the way things were going. But we showed character. We came back, and Danny Bath scored an equaliser. Danny the end, uh, from Ben Marshall's corner, which he'd only come on about two minutes earlier, played a through ball for Doherty and Cavallero, who won the, uh, and then now Doherty won the corner, and then Ben Marshall took it and got an assist. So it's, it's what it's showing this game is. You know, we have character with us now. Those are the games that last year and the year before, we would have lost that 3-2. But we came out with a point. And it's also showing that we have a strong team and a strong bench when you can bring the likes of Ben Marshall and he can get an assist straight away. And that Bakari did all right as well. 
So overall, guys, it wasn't a bad performance by us. Still got a few things we've got to work on, but we're starting to show what Nuno wants us to show. Character, fighting for every ball, and getting points. And that's what we're starting to do. So it's all looking good at the moment. Wonder of the week this week, guys. It's very hard for me to say. I think against Mill, like against Mill, or no player really had a bad game. They all had at least average games and performed as at the minimum we expect. Should have done a bit better at times, but I think they all put effort in and they all did well. But I'm going to give it to Alfred Endai for me. I think he was making runs from midfield. He was getting stuck in well at times. He was, um, he was uh, winning the ball back as well. He was, um, you know, he did well for the build-up of the first goal and he was always a threat in that and he was trying to pass the ball for us in that as well not all of them came off but some of them did in that and I think he had a very good game that would be my wonder of the week anyway guys some of you might disagree so who would you say your wonder of the week is and I will speak to you all later